Cleaning and Sanitization Prepare the sink with approved cleaning solution using lukewarm water. Many of the parts feature individual components. These should be disassembled and thoroughly cleaned with a paper towel or brush before being put in the sanitizer to soak. This goes for the beater frame assembly as well. Remove the scraper blades before putting them in the sink to soak. Many of the parts also have O-rings. These should be removed before being placed in the sink to soak. Remove the prime plug from the door assembly. The prime plug also has O-rings. Carefully remove these and place them in the sink. Continue placing disassembled components into the sanitizer solution. Remove the air orifice from the feed tube. Don't forget this tiny o-ring. It's easy to miss. Remove remaining o-rings from the feed tube before placing them in the sanitizer solution. As you continue to place parts in the sanitizer, don't miss the O-ring on the spout adapter. Next, remove the large rubber gasket from the back of the freezer door. Using your different size brushes, give the back of the freezer door a scrub. Don't forget to get inside the holes where the draw valve and prime plug are seated. Big parts, like the beater frame assembly, are easy to scrub, but pay special attention to these holes on the injector head. Using a tiny brush, ensure these holes are clear. Syrup can build up, preventing any flavor burst mix from dispensing with your product. Place all sanitized parts on a clean paper towel and let them air dry. While you wait, you can clean the freezing cylinder with a paper towel and brush. Finally, Clean the mix hopper lid with the sanitizer solution and brush.